Nutrition is very important during chemotherapy. It helps you manage side effects, maintain a healthy weight, maintain muscle, and keeps you hydrated. Your nutritional needs increase during treatment. If you eat as you did before treatment, it may not be enough. So one of the main goals when patients are undergoing chemotherapy is just to get them to eat. Be sure you're getting good amounts of fruits and vegetables. Also, concentrate on low-fat protein sources such as dairy, meats, fish, and eggs. When you're undergoing treatment, it's not the time to lose weight. Patients who take this approach often end up in trouble because they're unable to control their weight loss and they end up losing too much weight. Malnutrition can become a concern. Also, you may gain weight during chemotherapy. Steroids may cause you to retain fluids, which may lead to weight gain or swelling. Some of the extra weight might be due to the increase in appetite, and that's something your healthcare team and dietitian will have to monitor. A registered dietitian is available to help you. The dietitian can go over your nutritional needs, answer questions, and provide education on nutrition during and after cancer treatment. Your healthcare team can refer you to clinical nutrition. Chemotherapy may cause problems in your mouth. These include soreness and ulcers, infection, changes in your saliva, and in your sense of taste. Start good mouth care right away to help prevent mouth sores. Brush your teeth, gums, and tongue after each meal and at bedtime. Be sure to use a soft toothbrush. After you brush, rinse your mouth with a baking soda solution. Do not use a mouthwash that has alcohol. The goal of nutrition is to prevent any further irritation of the mouth and throat. Tough foods require a lot of chewing. They may cause your mouth to become tired and irritated. Hard and crunchy foods, such as tortilla chips, may scrape the inside of your mouth, which may cause bleeding. It's best if you choose soft, moist, room temperature, and lightly seasoned foods. These are often easy to chew and swallow. For some patients, foods may taste metallic, like cardboard or have no taste at all. It's best if you use plastic silverware instead of anything metal. Try not to eat foods that come in metal cans. Sometimes that flavoring can seep into the food. Try eating a variety of foods to find what tastes best to you. And drink at least 8 to 12 glasses or 2 to 3 liters of mostly non-caffeinated, non-alcoholic fluids each day. Do not wait until you develop mouth sores to begin good mouth care. To help prevent or lessen mouth sores, rinse your mouth with a baking soda solution at least three times a day. Mix half a teaspoon of baking soda with eight ounces of water. Tell your healthcare team if mouth sores cause problems when you eat or drink. 